my name is Catherine. I'm from the health district here. And we had our annual Bite the Bite presentation or poster contest, which talks about mosquito prevention and how you can prevent West Nile virus. And so we had a submission from Evan Fox. Where's Evan? Oh, you here? Okay. And Evan was our winner county wide. So for all the school districts in the county, Evan got first place in our poster contest. <laughs> Nobody likes to be bitten by mosquitoes, and so um, all the prevention um, will keep you from getting bitten too, but some of them actually cause disease. This is why we are so interested in, in studying and, and knowing what these types of mosquitoes are, because West Nile <coughs> disease is very serious, as, as she can tell by the, uh, her grandmother's illness with it. So this is why it's very important, and there are things that you guys can all do to help keep the mosquitoes down. That's what our personal our responsibility part of our program is, is very critical because you can do things like wearing the, the insect spray, keeping the water out of, your, out of your yards, things like a frisbee, that little amount of water will grow lots of mosquito larvae in there. So there's things that you can do in your yard, around your house, to make sure you don't have mosquitoes. And that's why it's everybody's responsibility to make sure we keep the mosquitoes out of our area. Um, I have a comment. Um, well, um, I have this area in my backyard and like it has a whole bunch of mosquitoes there mm -hmm. and stuff um and we don't own any um what's it called again? um any spray and mm -hmm. stuff so we usually just um either wear long pants mm -hmm. or we just get used to it well wearing long pants is better than just getting yeah. used to it because getting used to it if you get a mosquito that actually has a disease you're not going to be getting used to it's not going to help Probably so. it's a bad thing for me because um, they're really attracted to my mm -hmm. kind of blood and stuff. So mm -hmm. it's kind of. Oh. And also the thing that if you have a, like a low area like that, you can just make sure you put some dirt in it so it's not holding water. So that's what that's one of those things that you, just doing things in your own property to make sure the mosquitoes aren't growing. Entering your your saucers, your plant saucers, and your pet. If you have pets, those water uh, water dishes can grow mosquitoes in less than a week's time. So you need to make sure you're emptying it. So there's lots of things as kids that you can do just to make sure the mosquitoes aren't around. So. Can you go over again like what's the difference? What's the most critical thing to look for? Since we're all gonna we've all been bit, and we're gonna continue to get bit throughout the summer. So um, the the most important thing you can do is. Enter 
empty all the water in your yard. Mosquitoes actually don't fly very far, so a lot of times when you're getting bit, it's because they're close by. Um, so that's the number one thing to do is empty. And I have sheets here. Um, it's a little scavenger hunt you guys can do with your parents at home um, for checklists for mosquito breeding around your house. So if you can go and flip those over um, when you can, things like getting your gutters cleaned will really help. Um, those, those are the things that don't cost any money. Mm -hmm. I mean, you don't have to have the spray and, and you can still go outside. So if you don't have the mosquitoes at all, that's better than having to do the other prevention methods. Mm -hmm. And the other big one too is, is the disease causing mosquitoes like to fly at dawn and dusk. So it's a little bit cooler, um, the sun's not as hot. So a lot of times avoiding being outside at those times, which I know is hard. I know we all like to eat outside and wanna go play outside after school, but that helps a lot too. Yes. What kind of diseases do the, do the mosquitoes have? Um, our concern here um, in central Texas is West Nile virus. What is, what is that? What it's, it um, it's a virus that you can get. Um, much of the time, you won't have any symptoms, but sometimes it can make you really sick. Mm -hmm. um, commonly, it, it feels like you'll get the flu. Um, you'll get a headache and sort of a fever and chills. Um, but right. in rare cases, the virus can actually get up into your brain. Um, and it can cause, sometimes it'll cause death. Um, a lot of times it can cause really severe effects. Um, so the best thing to do really instead of getting bit by the mosquitoes is prevent them altogether because if you're not getting bit then you're not going to get sick. Yeah and just be aware of those symptoms because um, Evan's great grandma that was I think she kind of thought and so she did she had a headache a rash, a rash and so what happened chest. then is it it did it, it affected and she developed another type of illness and so she just and especially elderly and younger you know children that's where it's it's pretty scary so and there was um in the same town that evan's grandma was at um there were three people in the span of three weeks who had died from west nile so it is really really important and i just heard that there was um, something released that somebody in in the state of texas just contracted west nile so just be aware of it, be aware of those symptoms. Um, it's, it's not fun. Um, our family, this is my mom, so it was her mom who had, who had passed away and this is um, my sister. So this, this really means a lot to us and we're really proud of Evan that she uh, took the chance yep. to do this to, to honor her grandmother, so. We are, we always say if you know you've been bit by mosquitoes and you don't feel good, go to the doctor. It's yeah. okay to go to the doctor. Um, even if they tell you, you know, it turns out just to be the flu, it's better to be safe than to be sorry. And tell them to test. Um, we went through a few days where the hospital didn't send off her samples, and so it could maybe it could have bought her some time. We don't know, but tell them to test for it. They can do that. Mm -hmm. So, just and if you don't have any spray, one thing that does work. Have you seen the dryer sheets? Maybe your parents put in the dryer. They're just like bounce sheets rub that all over if you don't have any spray because they don't like that so sometimes that helps anything to keep them away if you're going to be outside uh, is the disease contagious no no no, no. no. it's no. not you can only get it from mosquitoes so even if somebody in your family has it you can't get it from them so just the majority of us are going to get bit but right so I don't want them yeah. to get too scared. No, no, no. 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 It's happen. It's and we want you to go outside and play. That's yeah. not our message. And we still do. I mean, right, we still, right. you know, I mean, we're still outside. We're outside yeah. all the time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, it's just that, unfortunately, um, our family has gone through this. Right. And so yeah. we start to feel just, sick. Yep. Then yeah. Yeah. Sure. And this is where, you know, this is the awareness. Mm -hmm. So. It's not contagious. How do the mosquitoes get the disease? The mosquitoes actually get the disease. Birds carry the disease. So if a mosquito bites a bird, it can pick up the disease, and then when it bites you, it will transmit the disease. But you can't get the disease from birds. They can't transmit it to you. Billy? Uh, can the mosquitoes die of the disease? No, they don't. They're actually not affected by it at all. So you wouldn't, they wouldn't know, or you wouldn't know if they were. Can mosquito eggs be in like swimming pools? If the swimming pool is, if you have a filter running, they won't be in there. Okay. It's when water sits, when it starts to sort of get green and like a little bit snappy, that's where they like to breed. Yeah. Just think like you've got a, a kiddie pool and don't yeah. empty that out, those are the kinds of results. It's all our rain, if mm -hmm. something catches rain mm -hmm. and you don't empty it, then you're probably looking for that. Good question. Yeah, we don't have anything else.
We just want to say congratulations, Evan. We are all very proud of you. You did a wonderful job. Um, and we are going to take a copy of this and hang it up at our health district, too, so that everybody that comes through can see this. Treats to kind of celebrate everything. So, nice person.